Hey YouTube, I need a soundproof box. Why? Sometimes the dust extraction will be running while I'm... <laughs> no way. So um, yeah, I will definitely uh, put this shop vac into a, some kind of enclosure. Um, but let's have a closer look uh, at what's going on sound-wise. As you can tell from these images, um, the noise is rather broadband than a specific frequency. Okay, broadband absorption from what I found on the internet. Um, the most leverage without spending a fortune has a box and a box design. where both boxes are decoupled. Um, both boxes should have a reasonably amount of mass. The more mass, the better. The gap between both boxes should be filled with mineral wool with an appropriate airflow resistance. And the vent outlet should be treated and, and dampened too. And that's basically it. So bottom line is, I think I don't need um, fancy and expensive acoustic foam or uh, acoustic plasterboards or acoustic special acoustic glue with magical uh, impact. I, I think I go with pretty normal stuff. I go with OSB, the most affordable wood type, as a wood sheet wood uh, at the moment. I go with pretty pretty standard plasterboard. Um, it's even more affordable than OSB. For the ceiling, I think I will use acrylic. That's four bucks a tube at the moment. And of course, some additional materials, um, plastic piping, for example, screws, things like that. Okay, let's build that thing.
this is a very inexpensive PVC uh, exhaust duct. Um, can, it doesn't have to be very strong. It's not a vacuum duct, it's an exhaust duct. So that's, uh, I think, 80 millimeters. Yeah, this is one of the few little bit more sophisticated parts. This is a magnet coupling device. I'm trying to uh, connect the uh, shop vac to the inner box with this magnet coupling device. I do this in order to save space inside the inner box and I think it's more convenient. So that's why I'm building this thing. I use uh, neodym magnets. They are pretty strong. <laughs> I almost injured myself. You can see it in a few seconds. For some reasons, I don't have audio for these images here. I think I didn't co uh, connect the microphone correctly to the camera. On the other hand, um, there was no uh, important um, audio in this moment. Final durability after four hours. Okay, and this is this is it. This is the magnet coupling device. I have to see if the glue is strong enough for the uh, vibrations. Perhaps we will see. If not, I will then I will use an, another one. Should be no problem. So let's take that. Okay, 51. This is here. I'm not very familiar with working with drywall. It's basically the first time I'm doing this. Um, so I'm very curious and <laughs> Not bad. Yeah, okay, it's almost precise. Okay, there we are. The inner box is pretty much complete. Uh, I have slightly over nine minutes now. I think I make us uh, a pause here. Um, in the next episode, I'm pretty sure I will uh, finish the project. So stay tuned, and I hope to see you again in part two of this little series. Thanks. Have a nice day.